so pleased that he's getting a chance to go into the C5 Hall of Fame for the five pin bowl. Yeah. I was very excited, George, to be recognized because I put four years of my life on the bowling five pin. Makes me very happy to know that he's going to be in there for all the time so everyone else can see what a great player he was in his generation. It's from Thompson, Manitoba. He's just one solid, steady performer. Di Virgilio, he said yes when the ball was halfway down the lane. I watched him do a roll-off once where he threw 18 strikes in a row over two games. I remember it to this day how incredible it was just to see that. Very rare. When he was at the top of his game, he was, like I said, arguably the best in Canada for a period. And it's on the head pin again. Virgilio had an amazing percentage of strikes for hits in this series. I was uh, rated number one across the country uh, because I entered a lot of tournaments I was winning. So it was a point system, which I was the number one. He's been around, knows how to win, and he's very dedicated to the game. I've been bowling two or three times a month. I went nationally. Every province I went more than once, five times probably. He was a Masters champion in Winnipeg in uh, 1979. When I first watched him play, and the game was a different game back then, it was more of a accuracy, like slower shots would work when the pins were free fall as opposed to strings, and he was just so deadly accurate, like he didn't seem to ever miss. And yes, because we've had a, a ton of great players up in northern Manitoba as I grew up, and he was probably the best of the best that we had here. Last ball in the tenth for Nick DiVirgilio. So he's won multiple national championships representing uh, Manitoba and northern Manitoba. Nick DiVirgilio, the national champion. Right now, I'm 78 years old. It's pretty tough to, <laughs> to bowl one game or three games because my knee's not uh, 100%. But I enjoy doing it. I try it, but I can do it. So I had to I give it up. And I kind of surf it up, but that's life. And I would try to help the kids, whoever wants uh, teaching, they want assistance. I'll spend time to teach them. Anything he tells me, I try to use in my game because he's been through all of that before. What would Nick do in this position? I've definitely thought about that a few times. I can't express how much he means to me for my game and everything he's done for me here as a proprietor and as a friend. And uh, it's been my honor just to just to know the man and get to compete and play with him as well. Thanks, Nick. I'll be back for some uh, some libations.